Oh, bite, bite. He nibbled. He wants it. He wants it. Oh. <laughs> Settle down, Cody. It's just a jack, man. He did. I took it. <laughs> Let's go. It's a baby. It's a wee minnow. First of all, McDonald's, still waiting for that sponsorship. Serious. Today we're gonna do something completely unorthodox here. I got the fly rod out. We just got done setting everything up. And what we're gonna do today, we're gonna fish some jack. I think it's gonna be awesome. What we have to do is, to do this properly, we're taking off the leader. Because you guys know on fly rods, or on the leaders, they taper down from, from big to small. And that's basically to help the presentation of the fly in the water act accordingly with the water. But these are jack, and that does not matter at all. They're going to eat anything, and they do. So what we're going to do, we're going to take that off, and then I'm going to put this on. We're just going to use 10-pound uh, trilene and then just put a snap swivel. It, it doesn't matter for this. This is the best part of it, too. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you what we're doing. Mm. You can take a gander, too. Look how nice it is. You got some shocks up there. Yeah, I don't really like them. And this is the first cool day in probably like two weeks. Everything's been 30 plus. Today it's like 13. Okay, so this is it. We're just gonna get a bunch of jigs. We're gonna rip some jigs out there, I think, and maybe some little spoons. I think that'll be the funnest. But the jigs will be the funnest, I think, to rip. The trilene 10 pound we're gonna put on, which is more than enough. Just put a snap swivel at the end, and that's it. Probably like, a, we'll make basically a leader on the end of it. I don't know, three or four feet. It doesn't really matter that much. We're just gonna be skipping the top, and we're gonna follow the weeds out here is the idea. So we'll just troll back and forth. We're not gonna go really deep or anything because there's a lot of jack always hanging out on the edges in the weeds. Spinners, not so much because you'd have to be consistently pulling like this. But if we're ripping, it's gonna be start, stop, start, stop. You get it. I'm just gonna finish setting this up really quick and see how this works, but this will be pretty fun. If we get a big jack on the end of this fly rod, I don't know, it's gonna be pretty cool, I think. So we're gonna use the nippers and just cut it off where the fly line is right here. Give it a little nippy. And we're gonna keep this leader. It's still good. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> okay, to hook this up together, we have to use a surgeon knot. Nah, I'll explain. If you guys wanna know how to do that, I'll explain later. Guess I should cut the end too. <laughs> Dork. You guys fly fish at all? You know, I'm, I'm a pretty big fly fisher now. I've been doing it for about a month. <laughs> So we're just putting the 10 pound onto the fly lines. That's all we're doing. One, two, and three, and four, <laughs> not tighten up. And there is our surgeon. Come on, focus, focus cannon. You're supposed to be good at that. Now we're gonna take this, bend it like that, like that. Put it through here. And all the way up. Rip it back. Now we're just gonna put a, who puts a snap swivel on a fly rod? <laughs> It'll work, trust me. It will literally eat anything. I'm not joking. Do good old clench knot. One, two, three, four, five, and seven. Gotta wet it. Make sure it gets maximum suction tightness here. It doesn't slip out on our good old 10 pound. Give it a couple yanks. Yank, 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 yank. Okay, so what I'm doing is, see, these hooks clearly are slightly heavier, They're slightly heavier than a fly, so to actually cast them, I can't do it, I'm not that good. But what I'm doing is I'm loading the rod with the water back and forth to get it out there and it works very well. So I suggest doing that. I'll show you. So we're just gonna load the rod, go back, angle and load it again and go and load it again and go and one more yeehaw just like that and it works absolutely fantastic for these heavy hooks <laughs> oh we got one 
<laughs> the first one on the fly rod. Let's go. Jigging baby with the fly rod. Oh, gotta let him run too a little bit. I'm using my own finger as the drag too. Play him out a little. Oh, gotta let him run. Keep tension at the same time. Come on, baby. Oh, my leader's almost too long. Oh, no! Come on. Bag the first one on the fly rod. That is so fun. I can't tell you how fun this is. Usually I don't care about catching Jack, but doing this is great. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun. Okay, come here, girl. Come here. Get you out of here. Oh, you're hooked nice too, so I don't have to fish it right out of you. Lots of times they just swallow these hooks. Okay, guys, first on the fly rod doing that. That's awesome. This is so fun. Let you go there, big guy. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my gosh. Super fun. Woo, let's do it. In far as weather, it's it's cloudy, it's raining, it's cool. This is like the prime time right now to be for fish to be biting. They don't usually bite when it's that hot, so this is absolutely perfect. Who are we going? <laughs> Woo! Come on! Let him run a little bit. You don't want to break the line. Oh! Come on, baby! Come on, where you at? Where you at? Oh, we're under the, we're under the kayak. Oh, what do we got? Oh! This is so fun on the fly rod. Come on. I'll let him play. I'll play with him a little bit here. Oh, he's turning the kayak too. Come on. Come on, baby. Let him run, let him run. Go on. Oh, look at the rod bend too with the fly rod. It's so fun. Come on. Let's land you, then put you back. Oh, he's got in the weeds now. Oh, another one. <laughs> so fun. Oh, he spit the hook out. Perfect. Okay. Ah, get out of here. Come on. Put you back. Don't worry. We're not keeping Jack. fight on the fly rod is so fun because it looks like you got a whale even when it's a minnow oh this is so fun <laughs> wow geez they're crazy now another one like the next cast oh we're gonna we're gonna use the reel on this guy oh baby come on i gotta loosen that drag off they're biting like crazy. Oh man. This guy is crazy. Oh, it's my thing. I'm going to snap my uh, line. Because I got uh, my, my knot where I tied it's in the eye hook. That's my bad. I got to be very careful. But we should be good. <laughs> got to be really careful. Come on. I just don't want to get too tight and pull him. When he goes, just go with it. He's fighting really good too. Come on, let's go. <laughs> it's so exciting to see the rod bend this much too. He's gonna get tired here pretty soon. I'm getting tired. Because I can't really reel in anymore. Oh, let him go, let him go. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, uh, no, he's mad. This one's a freaking fighter. 
They do not usually fight this much. Oh, let's go. Another one. Oh. Stop. There we go. Oh, he is just barely hooked. You guys see this? Like, just barely hooked. Look at that guy. Easy to get him out, though. There we go. Look at that, baby. I don't really, I don't eat these guys ever, but they're cool. Very cool. Well, let you go. Oh, see you, buddy. <laughs> Woo! Got another one, baby. I'm gonna do it. Come on, baby. Oh, come on, Rio. We're having a mess of line here. There we go. Oh no, let's slack off. It's probably off. Yep, lost him. I didn't keep tension on while I was trying to get the slack in the line up. That sucks. That sucks. I'm bad. I'm so bad. And like your your management for line has to be fairly clean down here. You can't have it like I did on that last fish. It was kind of all mangled up. So I went to spool it up real quick and I didn't get it up in time, but I, I could have kept tension better on the rod. So that's my fault. Rookie mistake. Oh! I lost him though. Oh shoot. Giggity. Oh, okay guys, we're gonna do the old switcheroo here because orange jig's working great, but we've caught about five jack and it's just not staying on there anymore. So we don't have to look that funny in the water so it sits normal. We'll probably grab another jig since they're working fantastic today. Put the blue one on. I like this one, it's pretty. Got some nice blue sparkles in there. So we're gonna roll this one for a bit and see what happens. There we go. Oh no, he's off. He's off. And they caught it, Papa Dang it. Love and misery right there. Oh, bite, bite. He nibbled. He wants it. He wants it. Oh. <laughs> Settle down, Cody. It's just a jack, man. He did. I took it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, come on. Oh, it's a fighter. Oh. Keep tension. Let's go. I don't think it's a real big one, but it's a fish. And that's where we're out here to get fish. Come here, baby. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's going to go behind the freaking. Oh, he's on the anchor now. Or the paddle. Uh oh. We're in some trouble. Oh, we got him. We're good. It's a baby. It's a wee minnow. He's not doing too good though. The hook must have got into his gills right there. That's too bad. Chances are he probably won't survive. But we'll try. Oh, sorry. Okay, you're gone. See ya. That's kind of the bad thing too. I mean, it's it happens. Not much you can really do about it either. Kind of sucks. Don't really want that ever, especially when I'm not keeping them. Man, that cast when it just goes zing, <laughs> it feels so good. Even like for fly fishing, even if you don't get fish, if you're doing good on casting, I have just, just, just about as much fun. Not quite, but pretty dang close. Cause it's fun, super fun to get good casts. Oh, oh, <laughs> Jesus, the second cast, I tell you what, the bite's on and the weather's like this, I tell you. Oh, look at the rod go. Look at him go. Oh, I gotta leave this rod or this net in the front. It'd be a lot easier. Uh oh, I pulled my my net. I'm not gonna have any slack now. Oh, it worked. Oh, he's dive bombing. He's going down. He's going down. Come on. Oh, my net, man. My my line management is absolutely horrendous. It is horrendous. Oh, it thinks it's a trout. Come on. Oh, you guys are relentless. It is a Freaking Jesus God! He literally thought he was a trout, that one. Did you see him jump and spit it out? Wow, look at him go. Nice, nice. That was pretty fun. Well, yeah, like I say, in the weather like this, the rain, the temperature, they're gonna be biting left and right. So we probably sit here all day and do this. All right, guys, so that's it. And that worked out absolutely fantastic. I think the main thing is just to take off the main uh, leader on your fly rod and just replace it with something a little heavier like I did. Just a 10 pound trialing. 
and just put a snap at the end because they're jack you don't have to be fancy or anything and the casting method I was using I think is the best maybe you can do it the other way when you keep it up in the air but for that heavy of a hook I am not that advanced so if you guys like it subscribe helps me out a lot let me know if you have any other questions and I don't know, see you on the next video. Thanks.